This year, as third graders, you'll take the Math MCAS test using your Chromebook. For lots of the questions, you can just click and select the right answer or use your trackpad to drag to the right answer. Like this question, or this question, or this question. But sometimes, you need to use a tool called the Equation Editor. The Equation Editor is helpful because some math questions ask you to write your answers in a box, like the one shown in this picture. This box allows you to enter math only. There's another box that allows you to enter words and math. Neither of these boxes are calculators. Entering your answer in them is just like writing math using a pencil and paper, but on the computer instead. You can use the buttons and math symbols around the boxes to write your answer. You can also use the keyboard to enter numbers, letters, and some math symbols. But not all math symbols are on the keyboard. There's more than one right way to type your answer into the box. You can use different button combinations to get the same answer in there. If you're typing and you need to undo what you just did, use the back arrow. If you deleted something and you want to redo it, use the forward arrow. And if you just want to clear the box and start again, use the trash can. Let's practice using the equation editor on some of the sample questions. On this practice question, I first need to take out the ruler to measure this leaf. And I need to write that the answer is four and a half inches. That's a mixed number. You can use this button here, this tool, to write a mixed number. So I'll start by clicking that. And now I can see the three different parts of the mixed number, the whole number and the two parts of the fraction. So I'll type the four in that spot. And to get up to the top of the fraction, the numerator, I either need to click the tab key or use my mouse to click in that spot. One, two, four and a half. When I'm done with this question, I can click next with the blue button to go to the next question. When you go to use the equation editor to use words and numbers to give your answer, remember to use a combination of your keyboard on your Chromebook and the math symbols. If I was answering a question about how many oranges two students had in all, I could say, altogether, student A and student B had 15 oranges. I can type that using my Chromebook. If I want to show an equation to go along with that, like 7 plus 8 equals 15, I can type 7 on my keyboard, click the plus symbol on the equation editor, or the plus symbol on my keyboard, 8 equals, using the button, 15 oranges, and I can type. You could use other tools on the equation editor, such as greater than, less than, equal to or not equal to, or labels like the dollar sign. To use less than, you can click on it and you can now see there are number boxes before and after the sign. If I wanted to say 12 is less than something else, I type in my 12 and either use the tab key on my keyboard or my mouse to click in the second spot. 12 is less than 15. Let's try typing half plus a half equals one whole. If I want to start with a half, I can type a one and then the fraction button and a two for one half, or I could have said fraction button, one, tab or click, two. And now to click the plus button, if I click it right away, it's going to put that in the denominator and I didn't want to do that. So I'm going to click the back undo button and use the space bar to go one more spot and then plus. And now the fraction again, one half, and the space bar equals 
one hole I'm going to type with the keyboard. And because I'm done, I can click the blue button to go to the next question. Give the equation editor a try and don't be afraid to make a mistake typing. You can always use the undo button or the clear all trash can until it comes out looking the way you want it to look.